I promise to do this for the uh, initial conditions again. This is a circuit we discussed in class. I changed the values of the components, and uh, maybe I changed a couple of things here. Let's see, I don't know what this one is. Let me take a look. Uh, this is 15 milliamps. And there are two switches here. So we need to find IL and VC for T less than zero. So I'm going to draw the circuit for T less than zero. The switch is open, so it's out. And the, here the switch is on the 50 milliamps. So this part of the circuit is not included in my first analysis. I'm only interested in this voltage across the capacitor and the current through the inductor. I have 50 milliamps, 2K. And here the inductor is, is shorted. However, the capacitor is open, so the current through the inductor is zero at zero. And the voltage across the capacitor, um, I probably want to put a plus here and a minus here. But the current here is 50 milliamps is flowing through the 2 kilo ohm resistor and it's therefore a voltage drop this way. So this voltage drop here is the voltage across the 2K is 50 milli times 2K which is 100. However it's 100 in this direction so if I put the capacitor with this polarity the voltage across the capacitor is minus 100 volts. This is at zero. And now we're interested in the circuit at zero plus, which is right after the two switches actuated. So this one went to the short, and this one closed. So now we, we do have this part of the circuit, 15 volts with the 5K. And now this is shorted. which shorts out this 2K. And I'm putting this in inductor here. So 2K is going to come out, and it's going to be much simplified. And I will do a source transformation on this side so that all three are in parallel. So this now is my 5K. Here, this current is 15 divided by 5K, which is 3 milliamps. This is still my 10 millifarad. This is still my 0.1 Henry. And the, the only two things that I can bring from T equals 0 minus, so from this side to this side of the circuit, the only two things I can bring is that this voltage here is minus 100 volts, and this current here is zero. So I can use I can only use those two variables when I come to the the t equals zero plus. I can only guarantee this, and this. And my interest is to find d dvc at zero dt, and dil at zero dt. And I know that. V equals L and I equals C. So this current here is C dV dt. And I can write uh, a KCL. Let me write with another color here. Hopefully this green works. 3 milli equals IR plus I through the capacitor plus I through the inductor. And now I can use Ohm's law for the IR, which is this voltage divided by 5K, so it's minus 100 divided by 5K. The current through the capacitor is C, 10 milli, dVC dt. And the current through the inductor at 0 plus is 0, as we have written here. So this is 20 milli. 3 milli equals minus 20 milli plus 10 milli d 
dvcdt. And this is minus 23 divided by 10. So dvcdt at 0 is minus 2.3 volts per second. So this the IDT is the easiest in this case because it's a parallel uh, circuit, so I know the voltage here. So the voltage across the capacitor is the same as the voltage on the inductor, which is L DIDT. And at zero, I have this as minus 100, so minus 100 is 0.1. D I L D T. So at zero plus D I L at zero is minus one thousand amps per second. So those are the four initial conditions for this circuit. I hope this helps.